Hey, good morning guys and uh, welcome to a new episode of Blockchain. In today's session there is going to be programming as well as there is going to be knowledge knowledge discussion also. It is uh, a small video but it's intense and uh, I think all the programmers already know about it. Uh, please uh, forgive me if I make any mistakes. And please like and subscribe. It really motivates me to make these kind of videos. And uh, I'm also learning a lot uh, while making these videos. Okay, moving forward. Blockchain blocks. Okay, so here I have some information about the hash. Yeah, cryptocurrency transactions uses cryptography to make it secure. This thing we already discussed. And the encryption uses the use of one-way hash algorithms why it is one-way hash algorithm for example you can take a photograph you can take a folder or you can take a string anything can be hashed into a SHA-256 uh, 64 uh, digit uh, hexadecimal characters anything can be hashed but reverse engineering the hash or back engineering the hash is not possible that's why it is said one way hash algorithm then people will be thinking then what is the use of it we'll come to that uh, blockchain has a series of as i already discussed in the first video that uh, blockchain is a chain of blocks and each block is validated then after only it is added to a chain uh, for validation uh, each block needs to be decrypted as they are hashed Hashing requires processing the data from a block which results in output of a fixed length. And what do I mean by fixed length is that each block has a 64, it has a hash and that, and, or that encode or that, uh, that, that, that 60, SHA 256 code, even if the, the, the any kind of combination, any amount of transactions done in a block, it always remains a fixed length, that is 64 characters only. A uh, elaborate de description of a hash. Hash is a mathematical function that converts an output of arbitrary length. This is very important, an arbitrary length. For example, a length can be like, I am Samyajit, uh, people are good, viewers are good, please like and subscribe means all these words that I said just now can mean that is the arbitrary length and it is encrypted to a fixed length output that is the 64 characters. This is regardless of amount of data or file size involved. I can hash a photograph, I can hash a folder, I can hash a PPT also. Its unique hash will always be the same size that is 64 characters. Because in proof of works, SHA 256 uh, yeah, module is used. It's a series of numbers and letters because 64 characters, as I showed, uh, I will be showing in the programming session that what what a SHA 256 uh, uh, output looks like. That does that do not resemble the original data because it is encryption. So it will not if uh, if I am encrypting, I am submitting this string then it will be like uh, the output is something like f9034 blah 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 for example uh, one can hash a string a sentence a picture this thing we already said and the output hash is like a combination of uh, words and uh, numbers about hash an example of a hash this is how a hash looks like it's a 64 bit hexadecimal value which is generated using a SHA-256 algorithm. Even I uh, also deploy apps. In apps also, this, uh, this, this uh, algorithm is used and this is used for, for example, if I deploy app in Google Play, Google Play will need this SHA-256 algorithm to identify that this app belongs to me, belongs to my mail ID. Well, uh, viewers, you can uh, check uh, this app that is Trap. My name of the app in Google Play is Trap. One can check it and uh, it's a free app uh, for uh, if you are learning how to drive in the Netherlands for practical uh, exam. Mm, yeah, it's expensive in Netherlands. So for uh, I have a free video and test series there. So please check it out. Uh, hash is one way. Yeah, we already discussed about this. 
it means hash cannot be reverse engineer the input there is a trick we can reverse engineer but uh, it's a yeah it's a very uh, mainstream trick but we will see that we will also do reverse engineering through during the coding session however it remains the same for the same data for example if i write i am samyajit and if i write you saw here right i wrote in small characters if i hash it my hash will be like f0906 something like this it will be but if i write i am capital samyajit then the hash would be like this so be very particular about it is of the same uh, size only yeah be very particular about each character upper or lower size including if i put an additional space this all hash will change the old hash will change so is very character specific so that is what i meant to say here it remains same for the same data so if i am using i am samyajit all in small with one space in between as a password for thousands of application the the 64 characters will remain the same for thousands of applications so each block is encrypted to a hash ssa256 and the miner has to guess this hash key in order to get rewarded uh well a general application of hash could be that to check integrity of messages uh, authenticate authentication of information like id and passwords yeah this that can the only possible application i can think of hash is this okay hashing going into the details what exactly happens in the proof of work might be that i am missing out on information but this is a summary because i am also an amateur but i am learning and this is what i gained from after going through many research papers so in a blockchain there are blocks and blocks has information about the transactions like somejit gave to kevin some money kevin gave to kerar some money blah blah okay each block each block in a blockchain has a version number like block 1 block 2 block 3 a time stamp like uh, yeah 6 am 7 pm the hash used is in the previous block yeah uh, the hash of the merkle root it is the hash of all the hashes till now in the blockchain and that is called the transaction hash suppose in a blockchain there are now three blocks and all the three blocks has hashes then hashing all the hashes is the transaction hash then uh, th the concept of nonce it's a very complicated concept but it's a random string added to the hashed of the hash of the previous block then it is rehashed and this nonce has to be properly guessed and then hashed this that's why the computation is very high because of this nonce and we have the target hash of the new block so what does the miner does the miner focuses on the nonce which is combined with means non can be a random number or a random string it's added to the transaction and previous block hash then it is hashed to a new hash so the nonce is combined with transaction hash and previous block hash to create a final block hash this is the final block hash if this new hash is less than or equal to the target hash so there is a target hash of the new block and we are creating a reference block a reference block hash and if less than or equal to the target hash then it is accepted as a solution the miner gets the reward this is what this is how the complicated is so we have a transaction hash which is the hash of all the hashes till now for the block we have a previous block hash which is combined with a nonce then it is hashed to a block hash the block hash is uh, block hash and the trans and the and the new block new block hash the target hash are both matched together and then if it is equal to then the uh, then the miner gets rewarded 
solving the hash requires the miner to determine which string to use as the norm. This is the most difficult part, which itself requires a significant amount of trial and error. Okay, so this is what happens in proof of work, and that's why, and there is also complex uh, added complexity of uh, complexity or increasing the workload. Uh, but I am not going into the detailed concept of that. But I just want to give an overview of what hashing means and what exactly happens in proof of work. Then uh, we will go into the coding part. I will be using the Python ID. Let me change my screen. I will be using the SHA 256 algorithm to generate 64 characters hash. And also we will do a reverse engineering. I will show a sample of how reverse engineering is done. With that being said, okay, let's go to the next screen. Uh, I will be using PyCharm IDE and uh, this is a empty canvas and this is how the IDE looks like. It's uh, I feel comfortable in writing the whole code. Sometimes I take help uh, of online resources also. Uh, well, uh, the programming session is divided into two parts. The first part is uh, that uh, we will be transforming a string into a 64 character hash and then uh, convert it back to string. Uh, well, uh, for strings, if we know the list of strings or the possible list of strings, then uh, the back engineering is possible. But if we are unaware of what the string could be, then it will take a lot of time as well as GPU consumption. Uh, so we'll not go into the detail we have a we will first take a string we'll convert it into a, a hash code then uh, we will use a text file where i have a list of words and then uh, from the list of words the program will try to search okay what is the possible code for this hash a matching code yes so let's begin so first is transforming a, a, a string into a hash so for that i have to import uh, hash library it is already i don't have to pip install anything it is already there so one do not have to yeah import anything means install anything then i also need uh, yeah for hash leave yes then uh, my string uh, targeted string is subscribe okay please like and subscribe to my channel it really helps me to or really motivates me to make this kind of educational videos then uh, final hash is equals to i will use the hash library okay then i my target hash is s h a s h a 256 yes this is my target uh hash that i am uh, yeah trying to convert this string into sh256 uh, characters then i have my targeted string and i will encode with utf f8 and then i have hexa digest is okay okay the reason why i uh, put this hexa digest uh, yeah the, the the command here because if i don't put this hexa digest then i when i print only we only with the hash leave sc256 transformation then it will give me a weird number which is the memory location where which is the memory location uh, of storing so in order to get the six, the 64 digit characters i need to use a hexa digest uh, yeah uh, reference so that i get the right output but we will also check 
everything now uh, let me print uh, final flash Sorry, i don't need this okay if i run okay i got a error uh, okay what is the error of excite i just don't need this Ash leave dot sha two fifty six target string and uh, encoding with UTF eight x oh, oh sorry this is the mistake it's hex digest okay if I run it yeah if you see here this is the SSA 256 64 digit code that I am getting uh, yeah if you see 64 characters code that I'm getting uh, and this is what the miners uh, try to search through random guessing method and for that they need uh, because if the possible combinations if I can compute from uh, from this there can be millions and millions of combinations and uh, miners only get a short period of time to uh, do the guessing for that is the 10 minutes in the proof of work so they try to guess this 64 characters uh, through their gp power and more is the computational power more is the computer's capacity to guess because it will f g h a b c d it will random it randomly start uh, making the combinations and will start and try to fit uh, try to match with this hash okay so this is what in proof of work happens people try to search and whoever searches or whoever is able to find the 64 characters hash code first they get the opportunity to add that block in the blockchain and uh, yeah everyone everyone then validates whether the person who is adding the block is doing the right thing or not and everyone copies a copy of it and goes for the next block okay now we want to do more fun we want to uh, back engineering uh, do a back engineering and convert this to the word this but uh, please remember that the back engineering of hashing is actually not possible because i can hash a file also a folder also a picture also but uh, through this i cannot get those files or pictures but strings are very easy so now we will be so that's why we are seeing how the back engineering will happen okay i have a code text as i said earlier that i am going to guess from this hash code what is the word so and that can only is only possible if i have if i am referring to a file where there is a list of words if i start uh, guessing randomly from this this string that is not possible actually i need a reference file for guessing and what will happen is that my steps are like i will convert all these strings into uh, the 64 characters hash then after that i'm going to match those hash to this hash and then if it's a match then i will get the result okay for that i will a little bit extend my code i want i need to import uh url lib for parsing p a r pass yeah with this yeah i did i need only these two uh libraries then after that i can start my code yep uh, i need my back engineering uh hash is equals to i have to refer to this final hash but i have to refer to also the uh -huh, the codes uh, codes there so you are l leave dot parse okay dot quote yeah because i need to get the code that is the final hash yeah and uh, yeah i will put us yeah save yeah save and this okay and then uh okay uh i am I'm, I'm parsing this one the the code is this the stored file is stored here then let's see what i get if i print the back engineering hash here in this case
Yeah, it's the same code. It's just I am storing the final hash to this variable. It just this is the way of storing the final hash to this variable. Okay, then I need to transform all the strings here into hashes. Okay, for that I need a for loop, and for the, for the for loop I need to open the first the text file open the text okay single quote then quotes the text so the reference of this text file is being stored here then i need a for loop for uh, hashes in f dot read line because it has to read each of the lines then code okay now i have to uh, because in the in 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 the quotes there were also i did a numbering so i have to remove these numbers and these spaces for that okay um, get word is equals to hashes sorry hashes dot split yeah i have to remove the empty spaces and uh, minus one okay then it will remove the number um, remove the number yes okay till here we are done then i have to remove the spaces also okay so, but that is um, get only word is equals to uh, get word dot strip okay mm, no single code okay then space then dot strip okay and uh, space bar okay uh, it will uh, remove the spaces okay i don't have to write the comment here and also the uh, the empty space uh, following the word okay okay now uh, we need to yeah mm, m Let's take a variable uh, hash part one is equals to hash lib dot sha two fifty six and then I have the get only word dot encode utf Eight, then x not x i digest but x digest okay here we have done all the encodings it will uh, okay now we have now we have to uh, run it we have to check it if and also maybe sometimes the words can have upper string lower string and everything either i will transform all the words to lower string or upper string okay if uh, hash dot part one dot upper is equals to uh, yeah is equals to the back engineering uh, hash yeah if it is there back engineering hash dot upper yeah okay if uh, if it is matching then uh, I think I can print finally discover hash and I need to print the mm, hash, okay, uh, hash part one. Okay, and then I can break it. Else. Uh, print uh, 
typing string. Uh, yeah, I need that uh, string hash part one hash part one. Yeah, everything is hash part one. Or maybe uh, I I think no, not here. Uh, okay, it only work here will be. Okay, because because I need to hear if if, if it is uh, right, then I need to hear only I need the word or else print the hash. Yep, uh, and here there will be a. Uh, okay, let's run it because I think I have done everything correct. Here I am opening the text and uh, hash hash in f dot run get word. I just remove the number. Yes, get only word because it will remove all the spaces and everything. Uh, hash part one is uh, I'm converting all the words into each word into the hashes then upper and back engineering hash dot upper and hash and this word so get only word if it is matching get only word else print the hash. okay um, get word ah okay I put a space here okay okay so the my word is subscribe and subscribe subscribe I don't have a matching okay uh, I found the mistake and uh, here was the mistake so it is the com the command was read lines not read line okay with this and I need to provide a space here if I run it so it went through all the words and finally as you can see it found the word from the possible list of words if i give a reference then this is the only possible back engineering work can be done for the hashes otherwise it's very difficult to back engineer a hash into its final form it's in original form with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed so you also understood what happens in mining and why we need high computational power with that being said we have come to an end uh, for reference i have this a uh, youtube link also for further uh, knowledge and guys keep learning and please like and subscribe it really motivates and give me a thumbs up okay good day and see you soon Bye-bye.